Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Uh, so I've talked on this show how Amazon workers in the United States have started, there was a strike that started at the Amazon facility a couple weeks ago in Staten Island. That strike worker, uh, I believe Smalls was his last name, I forget his first name. Um, he got fired for organizing a strike. All they wanted was like a clean, safe facility. We have strikes going on in California and other places around the country in um, fast food restaurants. And what the Amazon workers said in, in Staten Island and other facilities in the United States is we, we're not given gloves, we're not given face, we're not given equipment, they haven't cleaned and sanitized, the, we're sitting there packing stuff, touching stuff, like it's not safe for us. And you're paying us minimum wage. Jeff Bezos won't unionize in America. And what does he do? He fires strike organizers because he's just a sociopath that couldn't possibly part with any of his $158 billion. Well, guess what happened in Europe? Ooh, Amazon closes French warehouses after court ruling on coronavirus. I have to do these weird screen grabs because I got this article on Twitter and then I, it wouldn't show up, like this, this thing got scrubbed. So I do these weird screen grabs, I apologize. Court said firm not doing enough to protect staff and told it to stop selling non-essentials. Wow. See, in France, and I'm not saying France is perfect, but look, they have strong unions. They have, at least stronger than here, they have health care. That's why the Yellow Vest movement has been able to go on all, for as long as it was going on in France, because people weren't afraid to lose their Because in America, it's tied to your job. So if you lose your job, then you lose your health care. So you're, you're less likely to protest or to strike or whatever. But that's coming back to bite Amazon in the ass, because now we're seeing, because of this pandemic, how important the worker is. How important the worker is. Without these minimum wage workers, shipping stuff, working in grocery stores, packing, looking cashiers, all that stuff. Obviously, there's the medical staff, which is, which is critical. But medical staff, most people would tell them, my stepmom used to, was a nurse. They'd be the first to tell you, and I'm sure there's medical staff watching here, well, I signed on for this job. I, 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 I knew I was putting myself at risk working in an ER with infectious diseases, whatever, and we're given the protective gear. And we're running, we don't even have enough protective gear because we've outsourced all our jobs overseas. We should be making masks and gloves and all that other stuff and ventilators here in the States. But thanks to NAFTA and other things like that, we don't have it. NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that also opened the doorway to ship all our jobs overseas. Thanks, Clintons. Thanks, Bushes. Um, but back to the story at hand. So medical staff will be the first day. I signed up for to put myself at risk. Nobody said, I'm going to work in an Amazon shipping center and I'm going to put my life on the line. I'm willing to die to get $10 an hour stuffing an envelope. I'm willing to die working a forklift. Nobody said that. Nobody said that. Amazon has closed its six French distribution centers two days after a French court ruled that was not doing enough to protect workers from the coronavirus pandemic. Wouldn't it be great if America, if the American court system actually protected Americans and their workers and rather, rather than just being like one of the arms of the oligarchy? Wouldn't that be nice? And I'm sure France has its problems, but it, there's no way it's as bad as it is here. We're in a third world banana republic. We're not even, a, we're the United Corporate States of America. We're, we're, not, we're not a democracy at all. That's how a democracy works. That's why we have a court system. That's why we have three separate branches of government. So you can't have like one, but all branches of government and the courts and the schools and the media are all owned by the 1%. So they can do whatever they want. This is what we should be having. The court should be going, that's not safe. Shut that facility down. Oh, but money and profit, and I'm Jeff Bezos. I need more money. Shut up. They have been eviscerating unions in this country for the better part of five decades so that they can not be held accountable like they are in France. They can just do whatever they want here. But that's coming back to haunt them. That's... This pandemic is awful and it's dangerous and people are dying and that's horrible. If there is a silver lining to pull out of it, people are realizing how important workers are and more, more importantly, the workers are realizing now we have the leverage. Okay, we'll shut down your facility. We'll strike. We, we, 
They've done strikes here in Los Angeles at fast food places, gotten in cars and driven around. People have gone striking at politicians' homes who won't give them what they want. Some of these stimulus checks are delayed. What, where is that? What happens next month when rent's due? Rent's due in two weeks. Rent's due in two weeks. Rents and mortgages are all due in two weeks. What are we going to do? We'll just spend that $1,200? That's not going to last. The company is facing mounting scrutiny on both sides of the Atlantic as it tries to deal with a surge in online orders. Yeah, that's the other thing. They're making crazy profits at Amazon, but you can't pay people real, you can't unionize? People should be, first of all, Amazon, Jeff Bezos has the money, Amazon has the profit to unionize its entire workforce. Health benefits, pensions, and now they're making enough money to go, oh, here's a big fat hazard pay bonus, which is you should be getting. You get sick, you tested positive for COVID, stay home, paid work leave. You gotta go to the hospital, we'll pay all your, your medical bills. But even if you just have mild symptoms of, of COVID, stay home, we pay for it, you pick your paid sick leave, done. Automatic, because that protects everybody. They're making, and they, you, you know Amazon doesn't pay taxes. Did you know that? They had $11.2 billion in taxes in, 20, in 20, um, 2018. So last year when you, you, know, you pay your taxes the year, right? So last year when they were supposed to pay tax, you know, remember when you paid your taxes last year? You paid your 2018 taxes in 2019. Oh, Amazon had an $11.2 billion profit in 2018 and paid $0 in taxes in 2019. Zero. And they'll pay $0 in taxes this year. And they'll probably get some bailout money too. And they're making money hand, they were, they were pre-pandemic were making money hand over fist. Now it's going through the roof because everyone's got to order online. Because stores are closed. On Tuesday, a court in, in uh, Nanier, Paris, issued an emergency ruling requiring the company to stop selling non-essential goods for a month while it works on new safety measures. Yeah. Shut it down. Shut it down. Protect these workers. Protect the customers. Sales of food, medicine, and hygiene supplies are still allowed under the ruling. However, Amazon France said that the given inherent complexity of its activities and the potential 1 million euros, 870 pounds fine for each violation of the ruling, the risk was too high. Oh, boo-hoo. Amazon France Chief's executive, Frederick Lyer Lyerton, denounced the court's order. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. When did you denounce that order? before or after you were on your knees for Bezos. Colossal amounts of health precautions, including sanitary gels and face masks, he said the firm would appeal. Now shut your mouth, I'm so sick of that. You're wrong, admit you're wrong, don't appeal it. Some room full of lawyers, soulless lawyers who can't see their own reflections say, well, we gotta appeal. No, just go, we're wrong, this is, we gotta take, we gotta double down on cleaning everything and taking care of our employees. Let's give everybody money. Can anyone say that in a room? Oh, that's not good for profit. You're making enough. Like, when is enough enough? Jeff Bezos just bought a $150 million home earlier this year in Los Angeles. He flies on a $75 million plane. There's rooms in that $150 million home he's never gonna go in. And there's people living in tents this morning. I found in one of my cupboards a, a, a bag from like I had a, a, a like a beach birthday party last year and had extra bottles of water and like and soda and stuff that I'm not going to drink and I was like I should give this to the homeless. R one street, just one street in Venice, a block long, tents on either side, one street. We're going to appeal it. Shut your mouth. How do you look yourself in the mirror? Oh, that's right, you can't see a reflection. You have to have a soul to see a reflection. I always forget that thing, I'm not a doctor. There's a huge ambiguity, he told. Is a nail clipper a hygiene product? Is it, shut up. He said the company would work with unions to ensure the sites could reopen quickly, but added, I cannot confirm at this stage on what date they will reopen. Amazon's vice president of the EU, Roy sellout idiot, has stepped down, good, stepped down. You know, in old samurai times, you would commit seppuku if you dishonored yourself. You know, that's how like, 
samurai and tribal leaders, like a, a king or a chief or whatever, if you had poor people under your uh, domain, it reflected poorly on you. People would go, what kind of a leader are you? You have people that you're responsible for that are sick and, and don't have food? What the hell kind of a king are you? What the hell kind of a samurai? What the hell kind of a shogun are you? What the hell kind of a chief are you? What are you? That's like, I'm a, I'm a parent and I've got 10 kids and a couple of my kids can't eat. And so they, I, they go to court and I'm forced to, to feed these kids and I appeal it. Because my kid filing a thing because I won't feed my kid is, I, well, I got to fight it. I just got to fight everything. I hate that filthy corporate lawyer nonsense. Oh, fight it. Appeal it. You're wrong. You're wrong. Admit fault. Well, don't admit fault. You open yourself up to liability. Shut up. You might open yourself up to having a soul and a conscience. I know that might be a little scary for you. Pay your people. Make it safe. Give up your filthy wealth. Jeff Bezos could give up 157 of his billion dollars and still have $1 billion to, to just eke out a little living. He could still have his houses, still have his $75 million plane, still have all of that. Only these people wouldn't be putting their lives on the line shipping products. Amazon owner reaps an $11,000 a second coronavirus lockdown bonanza. And they're going to appeal this? That's disgusting. That's literally like throwing, uh, throwing out food in front of a homeless, starving person. The company claimed it had sent more than 127,000 packets of disinfectant wipes and 27,000 liters of sanitizing gels, one or 1.5 masks to the dis distribution centers. Oh, claimed. Where is it? Why did the courts have to get involved? This clearly either wasn't enough, it didn't get there, or you didn't even send teams of people in to clean it down. But the court found Amazon had not done enough to enforce physical distancing to ensure that turnstiles and locker rooms were virus free. Because who cares about the employees? They're expendable. They're probably sitting there, boy, we got to make these things more, these plants more automated. Oh, God. Why don't we get AIs to take over as a, we just program AIs to run companies and we'll program them to have a soul and a conscience and then we won't, and then we can just phase out CEOs, vice presidents and these clowns. I'm all for that. Union said one worker infected with the virus was in intensive care. You gonna appeal that? Take, sue everyone in the hierarchy at Amazon. <laughs> Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe. Hey everybody, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.